Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, October 30th, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and bell button in order to see our newest videos. And we have added a new new feature for our channel. It is a signal service on Patreon, which you can basically sign up to uh, if you want to receive um, signals, trading signals uh, for your trades. The link is below this video. You're welcome to join as uh, many have already joined. So this was a really good day for the tech stocks and that also affected the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq significantly. We were up at nearly around nearly two and a half percent, but we gave away most of those gains at the end of the session. So this is very mixed. So first of all, we have the coronavirus problem. We have the U.S. election. We have uh, we have high unemployment. We have a lot of uncertainty, and we have no stimulus. However, we have some. We had some really good data today uh, about the U.S. GDP, which uh, grew around thirty. 3% in third quarter this year, and that is absolutely enormous growth. So where we go from here, that is quite um, quite the question. Uh, we are we have at least have the highs here of 3,588. We have the lows here of 3,209. So whether or not we rallied to these highs or break below to these lows at this point i do favor the lows so this pullback here basically said something and these technical indicators are also saying something we are quite we are on the edge of being oversold but i do believe that we are going to go to 3200 before going higher we are trading in this range we are more less more uh, more likely trading sideways at this uh, at this point and that technically makes sense as the u.s election is basically here and uh, due to this uncertainty in the, in the market and what will basically happen after the election and because there's technically no stimulus at this point so we're just trading sideways we are we are um, just yeah technically it's what happens when you don't know where the market is supposed to go but i like trading this this is predictable you have highs you have lows and if you get to these lows that is basically a buying opportunity a buying opportunity if you get to these highs that is basically a selling opportunity when we are tra trading within a range like this so if you look at the technical indicators, the MACD is looking very negative. The, uh, the RSI is technically flat. Uh, the, the CCI is also very negative. The CASI looks like we're turning around, but we are on, still in the red territory here. And the bullish rebound is at its bottom. So if we have further to, to go to the downside, 3.2 is most likely the bottom. A break above this will have the resistance at a 50 moving average and then these highs of 3588 so if we look at the dow jones we broke uh, down all the way towards the 200 moving average and rallied from there uh, it's very similar to the s p 500 the technical indicators here however i think this is as far as we will go the reason why i say that is basically this number here we are 22 in the RSI, and that is significantly oversold. A rally tomorrow, that most likely will open the door to the 100 moving average and the 50 moving average. And after that, we'll go to the size of 29,000. Uh, this is probably as far as this market will go. This is probably the bottom of the market and i wouldn't be surprised if we had a massive rally tomorrow as it is friday and well indices tend to rally on fridays um so at this point no interest basically shorting if we get an encouraging uh, green candlestick tomorrow that is a clear sign that we are going to rally from here so 
NASDAQ. Well, we rallied up towards the 40 exponential moving average, and then we gave most of those gains back. Um, at this point, we're probably at the very low of this market. We are very close to the to the 100 moving average, and uh, we are near oversold, not completely oversold. S most of these indicators are turning around, so this may well be it. Uh, we probably won't go lower than this. Even though we were significantly lower, it looks like we're just going to hang on to this moving average, the, the 100 moving average. And 11,133 is probably as low as we'll go. Uh, if we break above the 50 moving average, then of course that is a clear signal that we go higher. If we break above the 50, then 12,204 will be your top. After that, the very highs here. So. We could look at this as basically a range. We could also go all the way down to 10,000. I don't expect that to happen. Don't expect us to break 11,000. So this is probably the range that we're going to see. We're going to rally up towards 12,200 and probably just trade sideways. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, clicking the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our new newest videos. And if you want to uh, clear trading signals, you're welcome to head over to our Patreon channel and sign up for our signal service. Good luck and thank you very much.